House Speaker John Boehner and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid presented rival plans today after a last-ditch attempt at bipartisan negotiations this weekend went nowhere. It appears to me at this stage the Republicans are more interested in trying to embarrass the president than doing what's right for the country. Reid's Democratic plan would raise the debt ceiling through the end of 2012, while cutting $2.7 trillion in domestic and defense spending. I believe uh, that uh, the plan uh, is full of gimmicks. Uh, we're not making any real changes in the, the spending structure of our government, and it doesn't deal uh, with the biggest drivers of our deficit and our debt, and that would be entitlement programs. Boehner's Republican plan involves a two-step approach. First, raising the debt ceiling for about seven months while cutting $1.2 trillion in spending. Then creating a bipartisan commission of six Republicans and six Democrats to identify at least $1.8 trillion more in cuts from entitlements and other programs as a condition for raising the debt ceiling again. Uh, I would call this plan less than perfect. Uh, but it does ensure that the spending cuts will be greater than the hike uh, in the debt limit. But the president has repeatedly threatened to veto any plan that includes a short-term extension of the debt ceiling, arguing it could jeopardize the country's credit rating. Republicans' short-term plan is a non-starter in the Senate and in the White House. And certainly the Democrats in the House agree wholeheartedly with us. Both leaders want to hold votes on their respective plans on Wednesday, but it's not clear either bill can pass. In the House, Boehner needs to win over Republicans who wanted even deeper cuts. And in the Senate, Leader Reid would need to win over all of his Democrats, plus a few Republicans as well. And in this acrimonious environment, Bob, that does not look very likely. Okay, Nancy. Well, we'll see you later tonight when the president speaks.